In this quick video tutorial, I will show you how to auto detect relationships in a Power BI project. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this short video tutorial, I will show you how to change the name of the total section in a table and even remove that section. If it is not needed in Power BI. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this short video tutorial, I will show you how to change the type of a date column to date while you are in the project view. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this short video tutorial, I will show you how to change the names of the fields used in a specific visual in Power BI without having to change the column name in the report. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.
In this video tutorial, I will show you a trick to combine multiple Excel files, CSV or XLSX, into a single query in Power BI. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you a simple trick to combine multiple queries in a group in Power BI. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to hide and unhide multiple tables from the main window. In Power BI. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.
In this video, I will show you how to merge two columns into a single column. When there are null values in one column and data in the other column. By using this simple trick, you will solve this issue quickly. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this short video tutorial, I will show you a way to quickly change the style of a table in Power BI. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this video tutorial I will show you how to add names to the points in Civil 3D and AutoCAD. Automatically. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this video tutorial, 
I will show you how to change the path of the Android emulator in Android Studio so that instead of being stored in the C drive, it is stored in the D drive or an external source. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to get the number of the last used column in a row in Excel VBA. If you like this video tutorial and want more videos like this, please subscribe. In this video I will show you the steps that need to be taken in Android 11 or below to play music from external USB stick. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.
I am reviewing the best custom Windows ISO I have found until today. I have tried several custom ROMs, including Nexus, Delta, Tiny 11 and the best one I have installed as a daily driver is the Phoenix Lite OS Pro Plus. 22,621.105. The only problem is that this OS has some infected registry keys. But I created a script that deletes these keys. To get the password for this RAR file, please watch the video until the end. I installed the LZX Non-Defender Edition option from the options that appeared on the installation screen. And then I compressed the OS within the properties in the C drive and I also ran LZX compression from the Nexus Premium Toolkit and I obtained the smallest Windows 11 installation I have had. It is even smaller than Tiny 11 and it's also the fastest Windows 11 installation. I am using balanced power mode and it is really snappy. this. Please subscribe. In this video I will show you the steps that need to be taken in Android 11 or below to play music from external USB stick. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.
In this VBA video tutorial I will show you how to get the last row in a column in VBA. If you like this video tutorial and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this video tutorial I will show you a quick fix for the spill error in Excel. When using the filter function or any function that returns multiple values. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to filter two or more columns using the filter function in Excel. If you like this video tutorial and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.
In this video tutorial, I will show you how to use the new filter function in Excel. To filter a table and get a specific column from that filtered table with this function. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to filter a table and return multiple consecutive columns with the filter function in Nexel. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. In this video tutorial, 
I will show you how to filter a table using multiple values to filter a column of that table and return multiple consecutive columns from that filtered table. If you like this video tutorial and want more videos like this, please subscribe. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to prevent a query from refreshing in Power BI. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.
luck. Since I just thought this same thing and created AutoDraw 2D, which allows you to create any AutoCAD 2D drawing in just three clicks, saving you a lot of precious time and getting the job done right. All you have to do to gain access to this project is to send me a message through Facebook Messenger and I will give you access. The link to contact me will be in the description of the video. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to use Google Sheets to post and update lines of text with Flutter. I also made a button to update the registry. I will be sharing the code in the following two videos, part 2 and part 3 of this series. In this second part, I am sharing the code for the G-Script that will wait for the data sent from the app and post the changes to Google Sheet. You need to change the two lines of text that say Open by it and set them to the id of your Google Sheets workbook. You need to copy the id of the workbook in two places of the script and then you would need to deploy the script to all users. In this third part, I am sharing the code for the Flutter app. You can use this code and do more things with it, like filters and add more variables. The part that you need to change is the one that says server address to the URL of the published G-Script. You have to make sure that the G-Script is set to allow responses from anyone, so that there is no problem when posting data.
I am a mechatronics engineer and I code as a hobby. I have learned many things over the years and today, I want to share a great accomplishment I achieved by making a few tweaks to a simple code I found online. The simple code works great, but it doesn't work when two lines start from the same point and they go different directions, and that is the tweak I made in this project. With this tweak, I am able to make any civil 3D drawing by just using Excel and VBA. I will leave the link where I got the simple code from in the description. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Hi, in this video tutorial, I will show you how to read aloud PDFs in Microsoft Edge. This is the easiest way to do this. You don't need any extra software since it, this already comes with Windows 10. All you need to do is add a language and you, let's say you want Spanish from Spain. You install the the, you already have English installed, so that won't be any problem. Let's say here's Spain. So you click on next, and then you just click text to speech. You just select that. You don't need the other stuff. And you you, you uninstall you unselect language pack. And you click next. I already installed Spanish from Mexico, and then all you need to do is open the PDF and in Spanish and say in English you just you already have the the option since it already comes installed appreciation by Anna Quinlan one misses what's it two misses who three misses which for the black thing that already comes pre-installed and this is the one in, Sp in Spanish indice cita al lector and here in voice options, you can adjust the speed of, of the read aloud and the, the, the la also the language in which you want it to be read. That's it. In this video tutorial, I'm showing the code to add space to, a, in, to multiple elements in a row in Flutter. The download link is in the description. If you like this video and want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to find the, the find out what's the name of, the, of your instructor in the Udemy platform. What you first need to do is open your web browser. I'm using Chrome and Edge. Then you go to Udemy.com and you go to Learning and you go to My Learning. Then you click on Instructor and you select an instructor. This is the name of the of the instructors that I have for my courses. And then you click on one of the instructors and say Aaron. And these are the courses I have with him. That's the way you, you select and you find out what's the instructor name for the for a course on Udemy. Thanks for watching. In this video, I will share a software I created for automizing all the processes in Solum Solutions. The software that I created is called AutoLIM Extreme. This software places the data X 